tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. But that punch, no good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Oh, beautiful counter on the jab after blocking the strike. Nice job turning defense into offense for the longer fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Out of range with that kick attempt. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Just over two minutes, round one. Got the single collar tie. Nice straight punch. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Able to land with the left hand there. Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, collar tie. Big knee land. Body kick now by Choi. Straight right hand now, just misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice. Plus right hand is true. Straight right hand, no good. And there comes the separation now. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. I mean, he's cut down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh. Superman punch now. Oh, straight right. And now he's got the tie punch. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Next with a right. Oh, 
And they separate. Troy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice straight punch there by Amir Khan. And he gets it. Just over two minutes to go. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, working inside the close guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And continues with the inside leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Back and forth we go. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, round three coming up next. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Big shot lands. Right hand on point. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man, this is hard to watch. Volume uppercuts in the clinch, and all of them serving to snap that head back. Notice how he's grabbing on the head, throwing uppercut after uppercut. It's beautiful. I love this type of fight style. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go here. yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And they separate. Three minutes to go in round three. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice strike. Big body kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Amir Khan. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Switch, knee land. Both body. fighters throwing heat now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Amir Khan's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He lands with the left. 
nice right hand. Great in the face. Right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. It's a good right hand right there. Superman punch lands! Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Joy gets hit with a kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Single collar tie now. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual thing. Absolutely, and it's going to be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of here. And they separate. Can't take many of those, you better check. A oh, little single collar tie there. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow lands. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Pretty good right hand. Oh, man. This grounded pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Head kick wins. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Good jab. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the car. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. He chops the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Well, no surprise, the fighter with the longer reach is able to land that patented jab yet again. Amir Khani gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. 
just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on that. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Right hand punch to the clinch. Choi's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. What a punch. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try to find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Big kick lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Amir Khani. Big knee there. Oh! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. Joy gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, a huge block there. Nice punch win. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right, he misses. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super.